Hello everybody and welcome to the stream and my name is Mickey Bean and this is MLB The Show 16 and in honor of MLB 17 being right around the corner we are going to see uh, if the present day Red Sox with Chris Sale, with David Price, even with David Ortiz, can they beat the all time Red Sox greats as you can see on my screen we have Roger Clemens, we have Kurt Schilling, we have Pedro Martinez, David Wells, Louis Tiant, and go down the line. Stephen Wright is in there, but that's because the rosters aren't filled out. So we'll see if this roster of greats, Red Sox legends, can beat the uh, present day Red Sox. And we will start with Pedro Martinez against Chris Sale. It's a five inning game, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we can beat up on the present day Red Sox. I am playing as the Pawtucket Red Sox or the legends. Um, and we'll see how this goes, guys, all right? We get our title screen. Five inning game, we get to face the new ace of the Boston Red Sox, Chris Sale. David Price getting paid a ton of money, but how can you argue with Sale? He is uh, the third best pitcher in MLB 17 coming up this year. The third best overall ranked pitcher in MLB The Show 17. And we start off the game with the man, Johnny Damon, the man that signed with the Yankees. Uh, so we'll start off with 86, Johnny Damon, and we'll take a ball low for a strike. We got quick count on it, a one-two count right away to Johnny Damon, uh, our center fielder. Chris Sale coming with that slider. He comes with the fastball, and we'll foul it off to the left side. Johnny Damon, leadoff hitter, making Chris Sale work out of the gates. Chris Sale will succumb to Johnny Damon as we get a base knock. Johnny, the idiot, as he liked to call himself back in 04. And here's Nomar Garcia Parra. Number six on our roster, number five in my heart. Uh, here he is, Anthony Ramon Garcia Parra, better known as Nomar. Pitch out from sale. We're not doing anything. Nothing doing on the base paths, and probably not because we're gonna let Nomar swing away here. Oh, and Nomar elevates one to right field. It's gonna be over the head of Mookie Betts. Johnny Damon's gonna round third, and he's gonna, we're gonna send him home. Can Nomar get that RBI double that I want so bad? He will, it's one nothing Red Sox legends. Nomar Garcia Parra delivers already off the new ace that runs the place. Uh, Chris Sale. And here is the two-time American League MVP, as you see down there. Ted Williams hit 0, 0, 0 for his career. Great career, Ted Williams. Uh, just kidding. We all know who Ted Williams is. The last man to hit over 400. Red Sox legend, the greatest hitter of all time. Will foul one back behind the third base dugout. 0-2. Oh, Let's see if he goes with that slider. He went with it. Looked like a slider. It might have been a changeup, though. It was the slider, a little floater. Didn't have a lot of break to it, but the speed was enough to fool us. And we are gonna deliver down the line. Ted Williams gonna get that RBI double, and Nomar's gonna score. It is a two to nothing ball game for the, uh, the legends of the Red Sox villain. Here is Babe Ruth. Curse to the Bambino. Lefty on lefty. But it hasn't really mattered so far as we have delivered every time. Three lefty batters, three lefty hits. And Nomar also delivered with a hit as well. Everybody's one for one. We are beating up on sale, and I'm sure they're going to get the bullpen going at some point. I'm, actually, I'm going to get the bullpen too, because I want to get everybody in. I want to get Clemens in. I want to get Schill in. And I also... Yeah, because you see our bullpen is not has a lot of present guys in it as well. So I want to get Sheil in for sure. I want to get um, Clemens in, but we will pitch with Pedro and probably for two innings. Manny's going to take a ball. Uh, Sale not going. Things are not going Sale's way. He's staring in. He wants the call. He's not getting it. That's unfortunate. Manny gets a hold of one. He's going the opposite field over the head of Mookie Betts. 
And we're going to send Big Babe. We will. Babe's going to score. It's a 4 nothing ball game. You know, with Pedro on the mound and a four-run lead, I don't know if they're going to be able to climb out of this hole. So ground ball. Manny's going to get caught up. Oh, and no throw from Sandoval. John Farrell is not pleased, and neither is Chili Davis. And Pablo Sandoval still not looking the slimmest in game. E5 for Sandoval. We bring up Dwight Evans. Maybe he'll pock a couple homers. We'll see what happens with Dwighty. Dwight will go down the line. Backhand or tease to the shortstop Bogart's back. And that is an animation that is fixed in MLB The Show. No more lolly gagan. No more lolly pops over to first base on a double play like that. He will fire a rocket to the first baseman or to the pitcher who's covering. And hopefully that will uh, we'll get more double plays out of that to the first baseman. And we will hit a fly ball there into center field with Wade Boggs and deep, a lot deeper than I thought. And we will tag up with Man Ram and we'll score. So yeah, that is an animation that'll be fixed in MLB 17. Cannot wait for MLB 17, as I said. That's why I'm back playing MLB 16 and we'll bring up the captain, Jason Veritek, who runs with the order. So we go through our lineup in the first inning. Let's see what Jason Veritek can do against Chris Sale, 0 2 count. Slider, and he will strike out Jason Veritek. That's okay, Jason. You got a job to do. And we got Bogarts, Pedroia, and Mookie Betts, the runner-up for the American League MVP. But they will face off against Pedro Martinez. Let's see what Pedro can do against the 2015 Silver Slugger winner. He had 320, seven homers. That's Alexander Bogarts, the shortstop. We'll drop a change up on him. So let's see if we can bounce a curve here. Hung it up a bit. We will go to the second baseman and we will get the out there. Bogarts retire. Here comes the four time AL All Star, Dustin Pedroia. Pedroia with good plate coverage for a little man. And uh, he'll foul off a fucking another one. God damn it, Pedroia. Strike out already. There we go. We dropped the 86 curve or change up on him. Uh, I thought we were gonna get him with a curve, and now here is Mookie Betts. We're gonna have we're gonna have to work ourselves out of a hole here. We're down 3-0. We'll 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 throw a cutter, 3-1 cutter. Try to get it off the barrel. He'll watch it go by, and now it's 3-2. He's probably still looking for the cutter. We'll go change up, and we'll get him to pop one up. Got him out on his front foot, and we will pop out, and that will. Oh my goodness. Nomar drops it. Ah, oh, for the love of sweet tits. What the hell happened, Nomar? Oh, God. That'll bring up Papa Loppy. Mookie on the move. 3-2 count. Poppy will pop one up. Can we make the friggin' play on this one? We can. We're out of the inning. God damn it. Good job, boys. We will start off this inning with Johnny Damon. 1-2 count to Damon. Here's a pitch from Sale. Oh, and Johnny Damon's going to strike out. Throw on the first. Ortiz will get him. One away for the legendary Red Sox. Now here's Nomar. Hit a double, but he's also made an error that didn't really matter. We got a 3-0 count against uh, Big Sale. So we'll see what Nomar can do if he can make up for it and he will walk Nomar Garcia Parra down to first base. Now here is the greatest hitter who had ever lived, Ted Williams behind me on the wall there. So let's see what Sale does here on a 2-1 counter to Ted Williams. Down the line again, same spot for Ted. Uh, and we're going to stop Nomar at second base as our third base coach was throwing up the stop sign. Base hit for Ted, he's 2 for 2 tonight. And here is Babe Ruth. And breaking news, we are getting Joe Kelly loose in the bullpen. That might not bode well, even though he did finish the year strong last year. Oh, and uh, we get jammed there. We're going to go back and tag up with Nomar. 
but we're not going to advance. But we're going to draw a throw from Brock. See if we can get it over Sandoval's head because I know he can't jump very high. Wink. And uh, so Beirut, the Sultan of Swing, will go down on a fly ball. And here is Manny Ramirez. And I know Manny hits light tower power. So we are going to swing with a power swing. We're going to fly out. That'll end the inning. One ball, two strike. Hanley Ramirez, Bayou. Pedro with a 93 mile an hour fastball. And Jackie will strike out as well. Pedro doing work here, trying to stay in for another inning. I don't think we're gonna let him. I think we're gonna go to uh, one of our two starters that I wanna get in. Brock Holt will get the first hit of the ball game for the uh, present day Red Sox. And it's a double for Brock Holt. He's partying like a Brock star and he is partying on second base. And here is two time NL or uh, All Star, not MVP, All Star, Pablo Sandoval. He's going to chase the fastball low and away. One, two count. Fouled. Curveball to Sandoval. He will strike out. And Pedro, what a job he did for us in this game. Great job, Pedro Martinez. Yastrzemski will pull one on the ground to Ortiz. No problem as Ortiz lumbers over to the bag. Two retire. Yastrzemski for the first out. And Chris Sale has settled in since his rocky first inning where he uh, let us bat around the order and he gave up five runs in that first inning. Now here is Dwight Evans. The 2-2 pitch. Evans will single into left field. Base knock for Dwight Evans. Here's Wade Boggs. He flew out deep to center field last time and he is going to come on strong. Brock Holt will make the out because that ball was falling in there and that is I hope will change in MLB the show 17 it seems those type of hits hang up just a tad too long and I think that is a hit that should have really dropped in maybe not but we don't really see those balls that really drop in little flares any ball that drops in front of the outfield is hit pretty hard so we'll see here's a 3-2 count we're gonna set the runner in motion I didn't do it in time so uh, Dwight Evans probably just made the list for not following protocol and running on a 3-2, two, two out count. Kurt Schilling. Schilling blows it by Swy Hart. Now here is Xander Bogarts. Oh no. Cannot run it down, Ted as we'll throw cannon from Ted Williams from left field. Absolute cannon, but Bogarts gets a base hit off of Kurt Schilling. 3-2 count to Dustin Pedroia. Ground ball from Schilling. We'll go with a double play, four to six to three, and Schilling is out of it. Very good job by Kurt Schilling, as he does a great job, and he is number 40 in this game. I know Big Shill, 38 in real life, but uh, just the way the rosters work. Good job by Kurt Schilling. <clears throat> Here's Johnny Damon to lead off the fourth inning. And he will, oh, Sandoval drops it off the tubby belly of Pablo Sandoval, who will throw on a first base to get the out. Oh, and Sandoval is going to come out of the game. It looks like he got hit in the head. Concussion for Pablo Sandoval. He is going to be back on the disabled list. That's a big loss for the Red Sox, isn't it? If you know what I mean. Big loss. Uh, so Josh Rutledge will come in. And here is No Ma. Number six, No Ma Garcia Power, which is kind of weird. I know Nomar was number one, or number five, sorry. He was number one when he played in Oakland for a bit. Uh, but he ended up changing his number back to number five, I believe. Went to the Oakland A's, he was number one. 
number one in my heart anyways. Ted Williams will sneak a ground ball through Dustin Pedroia for a base knock. Ted Williams, three for three tonight. We're going to go to the bullpen. That'll be it for sale. We're going to bring in Joe Kelly. Hard throw on right-handed Joe Kelly. Uh, can touch 100 miles an hour, but likes to pitch with that slider a little too often. There's the fastball ground ball from Ruth to Pedroia to Ortiz. The double play, and Joe Kelly gets out of the end. Here's Mookie Betts, and we're going to leave Big Shill out there for one more inning. Nomar makes the play. And I'd like to say this. For all the shit that people give Kurt Schilling on Twitter because of his uh, political views and whatnot, uh, I personally love Kurt Schilling. Uh, Kurt Schilling is a big advocate for uh, ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, as it's more commonly known. My uncle has ALS. So I uh, sent out a tweet to Kurt Schilling, and Kurt Schilling uh, replied to it. So... Kurt Schilling holds a special place in my heart. Great guy, that Kurt Schilling. I love him. Uh, he does a lot for charity. And uh, he was a damn good pitcher in his day, Kurt Schilling. He should be a Hall of Famer. Uh, but he does have a couple of World Series. One with the Arizona Diamondbacks. One with the Boston Red Sox in 2004. The greatest comeback of all time. And Kurt Schilling was an integral part of that with his bloody sock. So Kurt Schilling... Should be in the Hall of Fame in my book. Manny down the line. Off the foul pole. We got ourselves a home run. Manny Ramirez. Wow. Joe Kelly not happy. That is some bad luck for Joe. As Manny Ramirez. He's got light tower power. But he is friggin scraping the bottom of the barrel with that one. That was a fence scraper. That ball. Hit the foul pole on the way down. Let's see this again. Boink. That ball is hit high in the air. And it's get, hopefully the camera doesn't glitch out here. Oh, off the foul pole on the way down. That is something. 304 feet. You cannot hit a shorter home run in Fenway Park than that. Manny Ramirez. And oh my goodness, Joe serving him up. Off the base of the wall. We're going to head to second. And that is going to be ooh, a very, very close double for Carly Stremski. Here's Dwight Evans. The 1-1 count. Up the middle. Joe avoids it. Pedro to the backhand. We're going to try to sneak another run. Ortiz. Oh, no. Double play. Didn't think Ortiz was going to be paying attention. I thought we could have pushed the envelope here. And I think this game... Is pretty much over anyway. So we're going to get in. And that ball will be hit into the gap as well by Wade Boggs. So not the best decision on my part to run home there. As he would have scored. It would have been a 7 nothing game. But that's okay. Uh, because we got Rocket coming in for the bottom of the 5th. Which will be our last inning of play. Actually. And here's the captain Jason Veritek with a 3-1 count. Let's see if he can uh, hang loose and try to park one. A la Manny Ramirez. Veritek hits one high. Very deep. Back to the warning track goes Betts. And ah, oh, not enough for Jason Veritek. That ball was hit high and deep. And here it is. Replay of Manny Ramirez's home run again. That ball is hit a ton. That ball is hit so high in the air. Look at Hits the base of the foul pole on the way down. That is incredible. So Kurt Schilling does a great job. Pedro Martinez did a great job, and let's see if Rocket can follow up and do a great job as well. Roger Clemens. Up the middle on the ground will be picked up, thrown on to Dwight Evans at first base for one out. Nice play by Yastrzemski there. Here is Brock Holt. Strike three as Rocket drops it. Drops the hammer. And uh, let's see, we'll go splitter here. I got to count one and two. Oh. 
Rocket strikes out uh, Josh Rutledge, who replaced Pablo Sandoval, the injured Pablo Sandoval, on a 100-mile-an-hour fastball. That'll be the game. Pedro Martinez will get the win. Uh, Garcia Pyro and Stremski come together in the middle there. Good game. Who will be MVP of the game? That is the question. Uh, Ted Williams went 3-for-3 three three today. Manny Ramirez hit a ding-dong. So the legends prevail here in this contest against the present-day Red Sox. And your MVP, none other than Manny Ramirez. I think that a case could have been made for Ted Williams as well, who had a perfect day at the, at the dish. But Manny Ramirez uh, hit a double and a home run. So there he is, your player card, your MVP, Manny Ramirez, who is number 24. All the numbers are messed up in this, which I don't like. Manny was number 24 or 99 with the LA Dodgers. That will do it today for uh, this video. We win six to nothing. Oh, piece of advice for today. I forgot almost about it. Um, so today's piece of advice is gonna come from a one of my good personal buddies, Angus Malcolm, AKA Gus, AKA, uh, what does he call himself? The Tokeland Raider. And uh, his piece of advice today is, if it smells like Mike Trout, Get the fuck out. I will see you in the next one. Peace.